I decided to visit uh, those parts. Queen Mary used to live at the hotel opposite the street and she loved to come here. It's really loud, I don't know what they're doing. Queen Mary All the personalities that visited the bus I will actually make a round The Emperor Joseph II Emperor Franz Joseph the Emperor Francis the first and the Empress Elizabeth. And here Mihai Vitezu translated Mihai the Fearless. Alexander the first, the um, king of Serbia, Diane, the emperor, the Roman emperor, Constantine the Great, another emperor, and Caracalla emperor. Wow. Salon. She was serving the tea here. I'm going to show you. I see some photographs on the wall. The King Carol of Romania, King Ferdinand, Queen Marie, King Carol II, and King Mihai Michael of Romania. Very handsome men. You can read here. In this box is our respect for her. I'm not going to open it. In this box is the history of thousands of years of this wonderful place called Herculane. I have a similar lamp at home. So let's move on. I see here many different chambers. I'm not going to visit them all. It's so much to see. 
Andre Chaguna, Hagia Gares, Escula, Tudor Vladimir Escu. Those are the chambers. The smell of sulfurous is so strong and I guess salt as well. The chambers are numbered. All marble. The Latin inscription also translated I saw other chambers too. Here I hear some water running. Oh, it's a river. Oh, wow. There's so many chambers. 19, 18, all marble. 16. And this is Hercules. And this is the beautiful Queen Mary's tunnel. The tunnel connected this place, those parts, to the hotel where she was staying. Very interesting. The gentleman here told me that the tunnel is closed, but you can still have a peek at it. The Apollo Spring, drinking water, Queen Mary was staying in that hotel. They are renovating it, I hope, very soon, because I really want to come back here. Here you can see the Catholic Church, and those are the baths from the outside. That's the main street leading to the center. Look at this beautiful fountain, the mountains behind. That's a beautiful building, beautiful old building that needs a good restoration. There are so many buildings like this one. Look at the beauty. I guess it used to be a hotel. I'm going to ask my friend. And now I'm going to have a coffee with Bianca and her boyfriend Marius at the same place where we had our drinks yesterday evening the cocktail yesterday was so good so delicious i think i never had such a good mojito never full of flavor ice i needed ice full of rum <laughs> buna diminata ah, hello hello chatilain hello and now we are getting some ice cream. Bianca and Marius are also having this uh, ice cream place. You can see a photo of how it looks. The price, the big one is one euro. They also have some toppings. That's vanilla and chocolate. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, wow, delicious! Chimulta, but it's so much here. Here are the main baths. 
they need a lot of renovations, so they are not functional now. And down here is the river. The sound is so relaxing. And look how sweet this bridge is. Everything needs a lot of work. Bianca is showing me her working space. It's really tidy in comparison to mine. She apologized that it's too messy, but it's really, really nice. Here are all the dresses, the work table, her mannequin, threads, and here are the sewing machines. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yes. The ironing station. Wow. Also nice and creative. Bianca is preparing me some pastries for my roads. She insisted. She is kind and generous. I have enough food, but she said, no, 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 you have to have some fresh ones. They have so many options. It's hard to decide, but I decided for a cheese one and one with sugar. I will show you their menu. That's the menu. That's the menu. Oh, loads of fish. O limonada, simpla cu miere. Steaks, sausages, french fries, polenta. I'm going to order polenta. Immediate. Salads. So. And desserts and sweets. The message. You feel that all? That's chorba de burta. In English, it's called fried soup, and that's a smoked meat soup. And what what do you have there? A salad, a cherry cabbage. salad, a cabbage salad. And there is some cream and a kind of a chili. <laughs> All very traditional. <laughs> and here I've ordered polenta with cream and uh, cheese. I guess it's a uh, sheep cheese. I will try it. Mm -hmm. It looks delicious. I was so much looking forward to eat this dish. That's a pork steak with french fries. What's the name of the cave? Grota Haiducilor. Which means uh, the cave of uh, thieves. Haiduk yes. is the name in English, maybe the translation. But as you told me, I guess it used to be uh, used for their stolen goods. This yes. cave. And how old is it? Or when was it discovered? Around which time? Do you know? No, it's not uh, certainly. Ah, okay. Uh, and I see there are more chambers. Yes, so, two or three chambers. Yes. And now it's just open for visitors, so mm -hmm. it's not in use. But I see it's very well maintained and the air is so fresh. Outside of it is really warm and inside is chill, it's uh, cold. So let's, uh, let's move around, let's see. Uh, Malins, were they living here? Those uh, thieves were also living here or just hiding their goods? What, what do you think? I don't know. Because it looks like um, more or less a home. 
that they were also using it as their houses, their homes. It's really deep inside. Of course, those graffitis are all new, <laughs> but they're charming. Many names written, writing as in 1930. And I think you told me that in this area, there are some uh, pavilions used by the Empress uh, Elizabeth uh, uh, yes. on, on this path here or somewhere else uh, from the cave. Uh, ah, above the cave. Yes. Ah, above the cave. These are natural baths with healing water. You can also go in during the winter time. And behind them, there is a river. And there is a huge hotel. And that's considered the most dangerous climbing rock. Many people lost their life here. Thank you for everything! Thank you for everything! Marius, bye! Ciao, ciao. <laughs>